can start to see the pond coming up now. We're about uh, one week into April and it's really quiet out here today. I don't even hear the peepers from the other side of the dunes over there. Hi, Bob the Spider Hunter here, and this will be episode 9 on the Six Spotted Fishing Spider. And today we're going to just take a little step back as far as the family of this spider is concerned, because the Six Spotted Fishing Spider actually comes from the Pissaridae uh, family of spiders, and that includes seven different species from Michigan, as well as um, what's called the nursery web spider. Now the nursery web spider is a name given to these various species. Uh, and there is a, there is a spider that's actually called the nursery web spider. And the reason for that title is that all these spiders, these different species, make a special nursery web for their young. They lay their egg in a triangular shaped nursery, so to speak, that the webbing is really tight, really soft, and they use dry leaves usually to form it around to keep it sturdy from the weather. And then the mother will camp out until her young hatch from the egg sac, and she will guard and protect those young until they're ready to leave the web, or the nursery room, if you will. So, all these spiders we're talking about are actually nursery web spiders. That's what they come from, that particular family. The actual six-spotted fishing spiders go by the, the official name Dolomites. The fishing spider are a group of spiders that have very long legs. And uh, that's what makes them unique in their hunting style and how they get around. So today we're going to go back and look a little, little bit at that category. And we're going to also examine a few more specialty items in regards of the six-spotted fishing spider and some of the unique features we started to look at last time. This fishing spider, easily identified by the dark gray pattern from the carapace head area all the way down to the abdomen, is very quick on its feet. It captured this fly even before I was able to film it. All creatures seem to have their unique designs. This gray hair streak butterfly flicks its tail wings back and forth, looking like it's the antenna and the head area. So if attacked, it doesn't get the head. I believe what I have here is a nursery web spider's egg nest that has hatched. There is a lot of, I'll point it out here, there's a lot of uh, uh, moltings here from their earlier instar growth where they have molted out of their old skins. And most of the spiders are on the underside. Let's see if you can see them here. Lots of babies. With their coloration, they blend in pretty well with the vegetation. Mom, she's not here, so she's obviously took off to leave these little guys on their own, and they're very capable of taking care of themselves. Let's see what else we can find today. Hey, I found another nursery web spider's nest, and we got youngsters. This gives a little better shot of what the nursery web spider nest looks like. 
you see it's kind of has this triangular shaped webbing that goes from here let me back up a little bit might be hard to see goes from here all the way back to where the actual egg sac is and uh, this is typical of a triangular shaped long webbing to the place where the sac is in the baby And the dark fishing spider in episodes one through five appeared in the series. So this is the girl that uh, came out of the uh, outhouse uh, early on in the episodes. And she's still with me. Uh, pretty good sized spider. And I'm not gonna re review everything about the dark fishing spider. But I will tell you this, the dark fishing spider does not have to be around water. It can be perfectly fine and situated in the floor of a woods with uh, debris, leaf debris, rock, logs, and uh, can be just as content there as roaming around the edges of a pond. And this old girl's been with me uh, through the whole winter and then some. So uh, she's been a welcome uh, guest, this female dark fishing spider. So we've been taking a look at the fishing spider family, Pissaridae, and uh, we've looked at the dark fishing spider, this one here. And then we've been taking a look at the six spotted fishing spider. And uh, we opened up this particular video by showing you the nursery web spider. So now we will continue and take you back to the pond and explore some more unique features of the six-spotted fishing spider. Let's go back to the pond. This six-spotted fishing spider, female, is carrying an egg sac in her jaws. I want to get a closer look at her, so we'll take her out of the water. And she's not too happy being here. I'm going to try to get her out of my hand. A unique and identifying feature for this spider is that the female will carry her egg sac in her jaws until the babies are ready to be hatched. Unlike the fishing spider, the wolf spider carries its egg sac attached to its spinnerets. The girl's been returned to the pond and she can be able to go out into some deeper water now with her egg sac in tow, in her jaws. The spider will not eat until these babies hatch from the egg sac anywhere from 25 to 30 days from now. And when she's done, she'll be hungry. Life on the pond. Here we go. These are the first fishing spider babies, spiderlings, that I've seen 
in the wild here. You can tell they're fishing spider babies in that they have a slight hint of green coloration in them. There's a good group of spiderlings here. Lots of them. Cute little guys. Let's say we got 300 of them here, possibly. I mean, we got lots. And what lurks in the waters, searching for prey? A pond full of frogs and tadpoles. Not far behind will be the water snake. We have a juvenile water snake here. The sunlight's lighting up the striping very nicely. And then right over here, there's our six spotted fishing spider catching a little sunlight. However, the snake is still staying close. Frog got lunch. I'm not so sure I want to see snake get lunch. For today, it was not meant to be that mother and young would become a meal. However, one never knows on the pond. There is plenty of food here in the food chain in the pond. And I'm here to just observe. I'm here to hunt, not to kill, but to enjoy. So with that, I thank you for being here today. I thank you for watching. Have yourself a great day. Take care. So, uh, the fishing spider are a group of spiders that have very long legs. And uh, that's what makes them unique in their hunting style and how they get around and how the, and how they get around. There can be, there, <laughs> they're a very fast spider.